Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Top SST. Some more questions from the chapter Outcomes of Democracy. This are, these are the last set of the question from this chapter. Let's move. Okay, explain any three ways in democracy has succeeded in maintaining dignity and freedom of citizen. Okay, here in the question, they might have asked you for three, but it can come for five marks also. It can come for two marks also. So how it has maintained the dignity and freedom of citizen? So answer is yes, definitely. Like, you know, when we talk about democracy, democracy has much superior, like, you know, it stands much superior than any other form of the government where like, you know, they promote the dignity and the freedom of citizen. First, every individual, like, you know, when we talk about democracy, in democracy, every individual wants to receive respect from their fellow beings and it has been done. That's the reason all the citizen in the country has given the equal rights, okay? All of them has are having the same fundamental rights. All of them, they follow the same directive principle laid by. So whatever the rules are there for the rich, it's the same for the poor. It is no discrimination has done in, the, in front of the law. The passion for the respect and the freedom is on the basis of any democracy. It's a base, okay? When I talk about fundamental rights or if, when I talk about human rights, these are all the bases of any democracy. Democracies throughout the world have recognized this, okay? What they have recognized that everyone should get the equal rights and it has been achieved also. Long struggles by women, okay? So for women also, there were a long struggle. That's the reason in India, we know that one third seats have been reserved for, the in, in, uh, reserved for women in the local bodies, okay? Local bodies means in the local election. In many democracies, women were deprived of their right to vote for a longer period of time, which has achieved now. So we, when we have learned about French Revolution or when we have learned about other revolution also, we have seen that uh, for a longer period of time, the women uh, did not get any rights, okay, for voting rights has not been given to the men. That's the reason the declaration of men was different, the declaration of women was different. But now, every, like, you know, the women are also st uh, started getting the equal rights compared to the men. Democracy has strengthened the claims of disadvantage and discriminated class for the equal status and opportunity. So in democracy, there is like, you know, we, uh, there is no, uh, nowhere written that the like uh, caste system needs to be, caste discrimination needs to be done or like, you know, there should be some rules different for the caste, the different caste, there will be some different rule. It is not like that. So dignity and freedom of citizen is the base for the to achieve the successful in democracy, it is a base. So the question can come for two marks, three marks, or it can come for five marks. Discuss the factor that denote the successful working of democracy in India. Okay, how we can say that, uh, what are the factors? How we can say that democracy is successfully working in India? So the first one, about the Indian constitution. Under the Indian constitution, as we know that constitution is our greatest source of law and protector of all the fundamental rights and citizens. So previous answer also, I have explained you that fundamental rights has no bias of for the rich, there will be some different fundamental rights for poor, there will be some different fundamental rights. No, no government can disobey the constitution. Okay, and Indian judiciary is independent and it's a protector of the constitution. So whatever has been laid down in the constitution that has to be followed by each and every citizen of the country. Indian government, Indian democracy holds election on free and fair basis. Okay, so everyone, every person in India has one voting value, whether that person is billionaire and the other person is not earning anything. But every person is having uh, only one writing vote. So we can say that it's a fair and uh, free and fair uh, basis, okay? The elections are whole. The people enjoy the freedom to express their views and opinions and even criticize the government and its policies from time to time. So here in India, or like, you know, in most of the democratic country, people are having the freedom to express their views, which are very, very important. So the question can come for two marks or it can come for three marks also. 
mention three ways through which democracy can improve improved in practical form okay so we know that okay there are bahut sari cheeze hain jo like you know there it is written on the written basis but on the practical base what are like you know three ways through which we can improve the democracy legal constitutional changes through legal constitutional changes first point so what we need to do here this these can bring about positive changes but sometimes their results can be counterproductive extra care should be taken by implementing these changes it it has to be very very important when i am going to get some cause uh, some changes it has to be very careful when i am getting any changes in the constitution okay why because it can be a counterproductive also or it uh, uh, the results cannot be so good so i need to take an extra care how i am going to implement these changes through political parties okay now the political parties plays a very important role how like you know uh, the most important concern should be increase and improve the quality of political participation by the ordinary then through decentralization of power which already we have done okay where a democratic setup is successful when even the have nots have their say in the system have not say in the system means where like you know the people who are not a part of the constitution uh, uh, sorry uh, uh, when they are not a, uh, when they are not as compared to the rich people or like you know uh, they are not uh, uh, they are not very well to do but their uh, they uh, their views should also be taken in a very right manner and uh, it will increase their faith in the democracy so what are the different ways through legal constitutional changes i need to take care when i am going to get any uh, changes in the constitution very very carefully i need to implement those changes okay i need to see what like you know if i am going to uh, bring this change what will be the first i need to check what are the negative things if there will be a negative things then i should not get any constitutional legal constitutional changes okay then through the political party political party needs to be taken uh, political party needs to play a very important role where they need to take uh take all the views and like you know uh, Im uh improve the quality of political participation not only by one segment or one section of the society they need to take everyone in the participation then through the decentralization of power the power should not be only in one hand it has to be decentralized from the lower level to the higher level what outcome can one reasonably expect from uh, of the democracy this question i have already explained okay but the question can come for five marks so if the five marks question comes what you are going to write i have explained you when i when we talk about the outcome we talk about political outcomes we talk about social outcomes we talk about economic outcomes okay these are the main outcomes which we talk what we expect from the democracy so when i talk about the political outcomes political means i am talking about right to vote right to contest election but with this you need to mention about the political when i talk about the expectation so it has to be accountable it has to be responsive and legitimate form of the government okay it's very very important these are the examples okay but these are the important points when i talk about economic economic as i pehle bhi bataya paisa okay money leads to the if person don't have money it leads to the un, uh, poverty so when when the person will not have money when he don't he or she don't have the job so that is un, uh, then that is unemployment so here when i talk about the economic sphere we talk about the economic inequality needs to be reduced so what i am talking i am talking about economic growth and development reduction in equality inequality and poverty okay ek aur trick batati hu is answer ko yaad karne ke liye in this answer all the points sub points from this chapter will be including okay if you take out the first sub uh, sub topic that is your accountable responsible uh, responsive and legitimate form of the government that is known as our political outcome then if you take out the next topic it is your economic growth and development 
and reduction in equality and poverty. So that comes under the economic uh, outcomes. Okay, then when we talk about the social sphere, it is your last topic where we talk about the social diversity, dignity and freedom of citizen. So you will see that all the subtopics are only your answer. Okay, so outcomes of democracy. Okay, the chapter name itself is outcomes of democracy. So all the sub point comes under that. Only what you need to do, you need to segregate into the sub point. So political me. The first point, uh, first three things will be coming. That is accountable, responsive, legitimate. Second, me, jo hai apna, like economic, me, there will be three things which are going to come growth, first, growth and development, second, reduction in equality, and reduction in poverty. Okay. And the last one, what we are talking about is about the social, that is social diversity and dignity and freedom of citizen. So you will see that all the sub points is only your answer and this question can come for five marks. Democracy leads to peaceful and harmonious life among, uh, among life, among citizens. Okay, so how? Justify the statement. Again, it can be for five marks or it can be for three marks question. Yes, it is true that democracies lead to the peaceful and harmonious life among citizens. How? Okay, first, only democratic government is a form of the government which provides accommodation to the social differences and conflicts by making everybody learn how to respect every individual's opinion and differences can be suppressed completely. Okay, whenever we talk about the go uh, democratic government, what they do, they try to accommodate all the social diversity, okay, all the social differences, and they try to minimize the conflicts. Democracy ensures inclusion of every group, including minority and interest in decision making. Then it reduces the probability of violence due to the social differences and conflicts between different kinds of people. Okay, again, so uh, uh, harmonious life means how can we live in a democratic country? Mein bita sakte so democracy makes sure that first they will accommodate all the social uh, diverse uh, diversity. Okay, so that will reduce the social differences, that will reduce the social conflicts. Then when we are talking about the minority, they will make sure that the groups which are including with the minority, their interests, and uh, they will be a part of the decision making. Then uh, probability of violence due to the social differences needs to be reduced. Then they provide the right to equality, equality before law, equal opportunity, provision of the uh, discrimination on the grounds of religion, race, caste, gender, or the place of the birth. So these all and fundamental rights are given to each citizen. Okay, so this is how like, you know, democracy makes sure that everyone in the society needs to live peacefully. I hope you understood. Consent complaints by the people can be seen as testimony to the success of democracy. How complaints, okay, how complaints can be seen as a testimony to the democracy? Again, this is your three marks or five marks question. So when it is going to come for three marks, three points and five marks, you. So as I always say, it is very important to learn the long answer. Long answer for short karna, it is very easy, but short answer for long karna, it is very difficult. Complaints are treated as a testimony to the success of democracy as they highlight the awareness of the people and their expectation. Awareness of the people and expectation from the system. Second, it reflects that they are not overwhelmed by those in power and can objectively and crit uh, critically examine the differences they have made. Third, it measures their participation in public debates, okay? It is very important that they need to see the public, uh, they need to participate in the public debate, they need to seek, uh, uh, they need to increase the people so that they will come to know, like, you know, what are the things what people are expecting from the democratic government. It reflects the awareness level of the people. Then it recognizes people's movement as an in integral part of the democracy. So again, the question can come for three or five marks. With this, we have completed the chapter outcomes of democracy. Make sure that you keep watching my video for the latest updates. Thank you.